guys to another video vlog. We are on the park. We're going to see a lot of stuff today. So let's get started. All right, guys, we are on the train now. We're going to ride the train. Nice house. Did somebody live there? <laughs> Do you like this weather? It's not cold anymore. It's warm in Florida. Look, unlimited buns and four. Kids have fun over here. Llegamos aquí. Ah, no hay muchísima gente. Todavía es temprano. Vamos a ir a ver si vemos a Tinkerbell. A la campanita para una de las actrices que estuvieron por primera vez en la televisión hace mucho tiempo una película de Peter Pan que yo no he visto todavía, no sabía que había una, así que vamos a ver si, si la vemos. Hey guys, I'm here with Lisa. Lisa is actually my friend, she's actually running Hi all guys. this stuff right here. So she's gonna show me something and she's gonna tell you something very important, guys. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just gonna do something quick. He's gonna talk about what's going on in here, so check this out. Leave it that way, I might want to see you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Good morning, and what we have here is the Carrollwood East Barn. That is a replica of Walt's barn that Walt Disney had in his backyard in 1910. Uh, the Holby Hill section of Northern California. Walt had his own train in his own backyard over 60 years ago, almost 70 years ago now. And he operated it for a period of four years prior to the opening of Disneyland. In fact, as we say, it all started with a train, whereas the Disney people say it all started with a mouse. So, so did they have a uh, museum inside there too? No, in, in Walt or... Barn, which has been relocated to Griffin Park in Los Angeles, California, was actually a working barn where he stored his trains, he had his woodworking shop, he had his tool shop in there and all the mechanical stuff for the operations of switches and trains. Oh, okay. We have made it into a museum nowadays because, and they have it for a museum out there, but originally it was a working functioning barn that he kept his train equipment in. Oh, all right. He had some 2,600 feet of track, he had a 90 foot long tunnel, that his wife Lillian, her rose garden was above there because she didn't want to lose her rose garden for his train so they built a tunnel and had the road swept up and Walt ran his train underneath but Walt Disney and that's what we're all about as the Carolwood Society is having perpetuating the legacy to show how much Walt Disney yeah. has loved trains and that's why today every Disney park all over the world has an operating railroad train in it yeah so you got train running too and everything here and we have four trains running today of which two of them are steam uh, we operate the second Saturday of every month open to the public. And for Easter, Christmas, and Halloween, we have special run events at night. So we're here all year round, typically the second Saturday of each month. Yeah. Okay. Now we got Lisa here. So what are you doing here, Lisa? Tell us a little bit. Uh, my job here is to help get the food vendors and the non-food vendors so that when you're here enjoying the park and the trains, you can also enjoy some food and some activities for the children. Good. <laughs> so live music right here. Check this out. Yeah. 
This is actually a little museum. Oh, oh, cool. I'm, I'm Nicholas loves trains. Mm. Walt Disney, see? Mickey Mouse. Also the original Think about la, la original Campanita. ¿Se acuerdan de Campanita de la película de Peter Pan? Aquí tenemos a la actriz que ella protagonizó ese, esa, esa película. Entonces la tenemos por aquí. Vamos a tomarnos una foto y para que diga hi. So we got the real Think about the actress when she was in the first movie, Peter Pan. <laughs> Some of Tinker Bells over there. talking with her right now so we come again. Oh, nay. It's good. Good stuff over here, guys. 